Okay, so when we join a partnership, we have several different ways to do it, and this video is going to show you what to do if you contribute assets to a partnership in order to become a partner. So, we have to talk about these three words, fair market value, replacement value, and original cost. So if you put cash into an asset, there's only one way to value cash, and that is its dollar value. So let's say that a partner wants to join a partnership, and he or she places $10,000 cash. There's no question about the value of that because it is $10,000. So we're going to actually put it in here as $10,000. But if we put land into a partnership that we had owned before, let's say we bought that land in Madison, Mississippi 15 years ago, and let's say that our original cost of that land was $2,000. Well, land appreciates in value, and we have gotten it appraised, and we found out that now the fair market value, I'm going to do FMV for fair market value, um, in other words, the amount that it's worth now is $12,000. It has appreciated. So when we put this into our partnership, the rule is that we're going to value it at its fair market value because that's what we're placing into the partnership. So the partnership now is going to receive land at $12,000. So we're going to make land go up for the partnership of $12,000. If we also say we're a retailer and we choose to put in some inventory that our partnership can resell because that's what they're in the business of doing, we have inventory. Let's say that we originally bought that inventory for $2,000. Let's say that it now has a fair market value of $6,000. Well, we can't put it at $6,000 because we plan on that partnership reselling it at its gain or its profit, so we're not going to use the fair market value. Instead, when we're talking about inventory that the partnership plans to resell, we've got to look for one more price um, cost, which is going to be called replacement cost. So if that partnership were to go out and purchase it today, they would need to pay $3,000. So the only one that you use replacement cost for or replacement value is going to be when you have inventory, merchandise inventory or just plain inventory. All right, so we had a choice. Were we going to use our original cost or the fair market value or the replacement value or replacement cost? For inventory, we're going to use replacement cost or replacement value. Those two words are, I'm using them uh, synonymously. Okay, so... We've put these three items in, and let's say we also had accounts receivable. And our accounts receivable is going to be worth $1,000. And along with that comes an estimate of what we consider to be bad debt. So we're going to have an allowance for doubtful accounts that will come along with this. And so let's just say that we think we won't be able to collect $200 of it. All right, so our capital balance, whatever our name is, I'll name us Smith, is going to be the net of all these numbers. So I will actually net these numbers together. And so my balancing entry will be 25800 So what we need to learn from this video is that when we contribute assets to a partnership, cash will be valued at its cash value. Other assets will be valued at fair market value except inventory, which we are going to record at its replacement cost.